All right, so to wrap up this example, what we had done was we had this triangular PDF and we found the equations associated with each of these lines here from zero to 10 feet and then from 10 to 20 feet. And what we'd like to do now is determine the CDF of the random variable X. So this is what the problem is now. It's given this PDF, find the CDF, and we know that the relationship between the PDF and the CDF is that the derivative of the CDF is equal to the PDF, like this. And so now what we do is really we're just integrating to find, and we're gonna integrate with respect to segments. So, and so here for for the first segment or the first function, first portion of that PDF between zero and 10 feet, you know, this CDF is going to be the integral from zero to X. I'm going to use a dummy variable. So it'll be whatever the PDF is as a function of A as my dummy variable. And so this would look like I'm integrating zero to X and this equation is only going to apply between zero and 10 feet and it's gonna be one over 100 feet squared times A, DA, like this. And when I integrate, and this is my CDF of X for that first segment between zero and 10 feet. And it makes sense, it's the PDF is linear, so an antiderivative away is parabolic. And so I've got here this parabolic equation x squared. And so now I'm gonna do that for the second segment. So this is from 10 to 20 feet. And here, the definition of the CDF is the probability of x less than or equal to x. So what we're doing, if I go back to this drawing up here, it, what I'm doing right now is like I'm looking for the CDF associated with this range of X between 10 and 20. And so this the probability of X less than or equal to X. So if I'm taking some point here and I call this X like this, well, the answer to that CDF is this area plus this area here, okay? So that's gonna give me my CDF between 10 and 20 feet. It's gonna be everything to the left of a number between 10 and 20. So here, I can, I can already tell from looking at this, you know, this was a symmetric triangle, right? So that means this area right here, my CDF value is gonna be this area, which is half or 0.5, plus whatever this number is right here, whatever that area is here. So mathematically, you know, you can see already that I need that total area between zero and 10. So mathematically, the way that would be described is here, this would be from zero to 10 feet right here. And it'd be that first segment, that first function. So this is this same as what we had before, this, uh, this dummy variable, a over 100 feet squared times dA. And instead, because we know we're taking all of it, that's why we're doing from zero to 10, plus from 10 feet to X, there's my open variable, and I'm gonna use the second portion from 10 to 20 here with my dummy variable here. So this is gonna be negative A over 100 feet squared plus one over five feet and this is going to be da and now i'm going to integrate this i will tell you right now when you integrate this portion and evaluate it from 0 to 10 this is going to be 0 0.5 okay that's that shaded triangle that we had here and then i'm going to integrate the second part right here plus right here so this is going to be minus a squared over 200 feet squared plus one a over five feet. And this is gonna be evaluated from 10 feet to x. And when I do that math, this will just be 0. 0.5. And again, I can simplify this even more.
And if I if I look at everything, if I look at, you know, if I want to write this out in terms of that CDF, so this is that second half right here. And my to my you know, my entire CDF I would write out like this. And, and that's what it would look like. And I think I have a plot of this as well. And this should just look like kind of like two parts of two parabolas. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. All right, so you can see already, you know, the units aren't aren't very clear here. But here, this is, this would be that x-axis here. And this was in units of feet. This is, sorry, that should have been a capital Fx of x. And so this is a probability here. This goes from 0 at 10 feet. This number right here is about 0 0.5. It's 0 0.5 like this and then at the top this is one okay and you can see this you know it's like a concave up parabola and then a concave down and that's what the CDF looks like for this